Hi, and welcome back. Today I'm going to make another dipole antenna, but this time I'm going to encase it in a PVC pipe to keep it waterproof. So let's get to it. All right, I need to mount my SO239, my little plate here for the antenna connection. So what I did is I found an old water valve. I snapped off the top and I drilled it out. And what I'm gonna do is run the wires through here and take this little plate here, screw it on here and silicone it on there so it's waterproof and then I can mount the PVC pipe on there. Here we have a spool of speaker wire and what we're gonna do is measure out nine feet. We're gonna cut it and then we're gonna separate the negative and positive wires and we'll end up with a total of 18 feet uh, nine feet on each side and what we're going to do is we're going to trim them down to adjust the swr to get a low reading so we'll probably go from nine feet on each side down to about 8.53 8.53 feet to get a good swr reading all right, so what I've done here is laid out a tape measure. I measured nine feet of wire, and we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna snip it right around nine feet. Okay, now that we got the nine feet, we're gonna take the wire here, and we're gonna pull it apart. And we will have two sections of nine feet equal length or 18 feet of wire. All right, we have our soldering iron warming up. And what we're going to do is strip the ends of the wire here. And we'll use the 12 gauge right here. Okay, there's one. And let's get the other one. Maybe a little more. Okay, there we go. All right, let's run the wires through our valve here. All right, there we go. We'll leave a little hanging out there. And then what we're going to do is solder the connections to the little antenna plate here. All right, so let's put the wires on the antenna. We'll slide that in there. And then let's solder the first piece on. All right, like I said, I don't claim to be an expert at soldering. This is probably like my second time doing it, but we're gonna put some flux on here. From what I've read, you want lots and lots of flux. Let's put that on there and let's solder it. All right, so let's heat this up. Let's see if we can solder this. Let's turn 
stirring it a bit. And get the other side. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Now I had trouble getting the solder sticking to the plate for the negative ground. So I think what I'll do is just when I screw it in, I'll put a screw through the wire to the plate to ground it. All right, so we have it soldered on and we have it mounted to the pipe here. And now all we need to do is feed it through the PVC pipe. I decided to put a little bead of silicone. I had some gasket maker in between the pipe and the mount there so it would um, be waterproof. What I've done here is I've put the PVC pipe next to my connection here to my T and I've taped on both sides I've taped the wire. It's uh, nine feet on each side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up the CB to it and start adjusting the SWR. All right, we have the dipole hooked up. And now we're going to go inside and see what our reading is. All right, let's key it up. And let's see where we are. Okay, a little over two. I figured we'd have an S on high SWR since we're at 18 feet or nine feet for each side. We need to trim it down to about eight and a half feet. So we'll make our first snip kind of big. Okay, as you can see, I took off about an inch on each side. Um, I was checking on channel, you check it on channel one and 40, and I realized I did channel one, but I didn't check channel 40. So we'll make sure we do that this time. Okay, I think we're getting pretty close. Let me show you what I have on the latest snip here. On channel one. We're right about, looks about 1.2. And channel 40. is um, probably about 1.7. I think we can get a little better than that. So let's try again. All right, let's try it again. Let's put it on channel one. I bet this is gonna be it. Okay, about 1.1. And channel 40. Oops. Uh, about 1.5. I think we can still get a little better. All right, here's our last snip, I believe. Barely moving. Let's do channel 40. I think we can snip it down a little bit more. I like to get pretty close to zero on channel one. So let's do one more cut and see what happens. All right, here's our final trim here. Here's channel one. Set it here. It's about 1.2. And let's check channel 40. Okay, 
She's about 1.1. That's really good. So let's go right in the middle. Let's go to channel 20. See how we're looking here. Sweet. Barely moving. All right, here's all the wire we trim. Let's see, we did it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen times till we got the SWR reading to pretty close to zero. And as you can see on the last clip I did here, I barely clipped any off, and that actually made channel 40 a little lower than channel one, so I don't want to shorten it anymore, or one's going to go higher. So we're going to call that good. All right, we're going to mark where the ends of the wires go. So when we put this together and feed the wire through here, the wire will be at the end here. And then I have two caps to put at the end. Okay, we have the wire just barely hanging out of the pipe and we're going to tape it down. Um, you could probably also silicone it down, but um, I don't think the wire's going to go anywhere, but I'm just going to tape it down to be safe. And with the little parts I had around the house, I put a cap on the end of the pipe to keep it waterproof. Now for the other side, we're going to take the pieces we cut off and cut the exact same length. And here you have the dipole all assembled. Okay, my last step is going to be to decide where to mount it, but there you have it. Um, there's another dipole antenna built, and I'll make a video next time when I um, mount it somewhere.